Hey everybody, my name's Kevin. Welcome to my shop. Where do I look to get in the picture? <laughs> These, this stupid camera stuff just tears me up. All right, today I am going to be showing how I make a new um, form for my Alumilite for doing a bulk pour. Um, this one, if you look, it's cracked, um, piece missing out of the top. I've had this five years. Um, uh, the guy on Turntex, he had plans on his website on how to make these. He had that posted, oh my goodness, must have been, oh geez, easily five or six years ago. Um, and he used to do uh, stuff with cactus and all different things. And so anyway, um, I took the plans offline and made my own. And I have two of these. And, well, they're wore out. You take them apart. You put them together. You take them apart. And after a while, they just crack. If you see on the back, I've used hot glue to try and keep it from leaking. And if I wasn't so ashamed of it, I'd show you the bottom of my pressure pot, which is full of Alumilite resin. So anyway, I changed the dimensions a little bit, but same principle. And here's my new one. Um, so I'm going to show you how I did that. So stick around. Alrighty. All right, we're going to take a walk over here to my table saw. And what I got to do is I need two pieces, and then they need to be um, six inches long. I need two at six inches, and then I need two at five and three quarters. So I've got my table saw set up to make a two-inch wide cut. Zoom in a little bit. Take my piece, and all this is, is H, oh, there, whoop, a little close. All this is, is HDPE, it's a cutting board. Okay, I've got my saw, my fence on my saw set up to two inches. Now I'm going to take and cut a two inch strip. And my next step will be... At my radio, or radio, my compound miter saw. All right, my first cut is going to be five and three quarters. All right. And second cut on the same piece. So now I have two pieces at five and three quarters by two inches. And now I need two pieces at six inches. Hmm. All right, there we go. Six and six. Five and three quarters. I did that on five and three quarters. Then I need a base that's five by six. Now that I've got my pieces all cut out. Get my sacrificial fence. And I need to set my height to my saw blade. Alright, I've got my the width of my blade is an eighth of an inch and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an eighth inch deep or eighth inch wide half inch tall rabbit in my six inch pieces. And I'll show you what I did and why. Alright. On the original box, the pieces fit flush all the way around on the bottom. This way. Okay. Alright. Now that I've got my rabbits made on each one of my pieces... I can take 
the pieces, put them against the base, and the base, it'll probably still leak. Uh, Aluminite, Aluminite always finds a way out, but by having this rabbit all the way around my end pieces, and then having the rabbit along the side piece, now I can I can pour my Alumilite, have less leakage in my pressure pot, and my original piece, the original piece measured five and five eighths by uh, four and three quarters, and with the new setup, five and three quarters there, and four and three quarters there. So now I can pour my pin blanks and once I trim them to size, then I'll get a better blank. So all I gotta do now, get my clamps. Clamp this one. Get it started. Put that there. And there we go. All right, everybody. Unfortunately, my camera stopped working when I was filming the end of my cuttings for my um, mold for my Illumilite. So here it is, it's done, I used it, it works. I've got three screws, three screws, three screws, and three on the other side. It works pretty good. Um, now that it's been used and the Illumilite fills the cracks, it seals up and it pours a pretty good blank. Here's one that I did to check it. It's uh, Box Elder with purple aluminite and a little bit of white pearl and looks really nice and then to look at it once it's cut I think it's pretty sharp and hopefully it'll look good in a pen hey my name is Kevin thanks for watching if you like what I'm doing give me that big thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment below I appreciate everybody's feedback if there's something you want to see me do, just let me know. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye-bye.